Hey guys, Savage Recovery back for another video. How are my savages doing? If you guys aren't subscribed, do me a favor. If you want to support the channel, subscribe, hit the bell, get all my notifications. Hit a like, comment, share, help me out with the algorithm. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you can find me at savage underscore red underscore studios, where you can see all of my photography. And also I have a Facebook page and a Twitter. And you guys can check me out on Patreon. You guys can also check me out on the Cash app. Let's get into it. Hey, how are my savages doing? Back with another video, guys. Sorry I've been missing, <clears throat> but I got a few videos coming out today. Let's get into this this amazing uh, this amazing book that is just lighting up the world with how great it is. And there's no hate on men. There's no agenda. Let's get into it. So this right here brings us to what we're going to talk about in this in this video. So this is at Evening Standard, and as you can see, I'm assuming this is a feminist website. I don't know that for facts, but it talks about this feminist book, I Hate Men, and at the top it's got a Planned Parenthood banner. So, you know, just... Two and two, I'm going to guess four. So this woman right here named a book called I Hate Men, and she did a small 400 book print in France, and it sold out. The book sold out. Now we're going to read a little bit about this. Pauline Harmige is a 25-year-old bisexual blogger from Lily, originally wrote her First manifesto in French, published in August in an initial print of 400 copies. Now, what's important about this is that the demand went nowhere, but suddenly everyone wanted to read the book. So, while in the UK, blah, blah, that's not the stuff that's important. What's important here is there is... If you look, there is, have stayed, had Ralph, an advisor of the French Ministry on Gender Equality, not called for it to be banned on the grounds of inciting to hatred. So the French wanted to ban the book, and then the book sold out. So, she's not alone in thinking men today should be ashamed of themselves merely for being men. Even if they are not rapists or murderers, they are, according to her, violent, selfish, lazy, and cowardly. Uh, some of her quotes, we have to be vigilant. We have to keep an eye on even the genuine, decent ones because anyone can stray off course and all the more. So if he's cis, white, wealthy, able-bodied, and heterosexual. So straight white males right there, this lady hates. And I don't know if you noticed it, but she happens to be a white female. A white female. And we're going to see if there's any more pictures of her down here. Because if there is, well, let's do a little, a little image search of this woman. Now, tell me, tell me this woman right here doesn't look like she hates men. Tell me she doesn't look like she hates men. I'm just saying, she, she looks like she hates men. But the reason I'm bringing this to your, your guys' attention, here's another picture of her. This is what she used to look like, normal. Used to be a normal person. A normal, average looking girl. And then she became this. Of course, wearing no bra, because that's the feminist movement, the the lesbian haircut, of course. Tattoos like a man. Okay. Yeah. And then she became what looks like a man right here. And she used to look like this. But she's bisexual, so she has sex with men, I guess. But 
So the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you look at like the French, if you look at other European cultures, those countries are far more feminist friendly and woman's friendly than United States is. United States is quite, quite uh, to the left, friendly to women, feminist like, but the Europeans are even more so, and the French wanted to ban this book. Now, I'm not going to take the time to buy the book or read the book or rent the book because even though they say don't judge your book by your cover, you should still see it says I hate men. Like that's that's it. That's all. Her quote her quote was you have to watch all men even though they're not rapists, they could become rapists. So that's like guilty into until proven innocent. And this right here is this literally is what's infecting society. There's becoming more and more abundance of hatred in men. And like MGTOW is where it's at. We we have to stop. We have to stop. The MGTOW movement has to get, get bigger. Guys need to start going their own way because this shit is only going to keep getting worse. It's only going to keep getting worse. A woman wrote, wrote a book with 400 copies about how she hates men, and this became national and global news. Think about that. If I wrote a book that said, I hate women, I guarantee that there would not be any sort of fluff pieces. There would not be any sort of glowing reports of it. I guarantee if I only made 100 copies, if I made 4,000 copies, it wouldn't pick up global traction. It, it, I guarantee it wouldn't. Unless I became famous in the future or something like that, it would be brought up to, to bash me. But it, wouldn't, it would not get all this, all this news. And it would even, like, this stuff wouldn't even be fair. It'd be very slanted. Very slanted. Now, I could rant on about my feelings about women and women hate men but i want you guys to check out some of my other content i'm about to upload some more videos as always guys stay savage